The film that had the greatest impact on me probably has to be Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Um, it might be a long choice, I don't know. My dad was a massive Monty Python fan and it meant that I completely grew up on it. When I was around seven or eight, he gave me his old Python VHS tapes and I must have watched Holy Grail 200 times. There was a point in my life that I could recite the entire script start to finish without missing a single line. It's, um, I mean, I love comedies to this day and the comedic influence of that film is actually a massive part of my entire personality. I reference it all the time and I don't get on with anyone that doesn't like Monty Python. It's great. I'd probably say Coming to America. Uh, Coming to America, before then, there weren't really many, if any, uh, films that depicted people of colour, um, not only in a positive light, but, yeah, the themes in that, the, the, just very regal. Um, not only was it a great film, comedy, uh, Eddie Murphy's best, Arsenio Hall, fantastic, lots of laughs, but, yeah, just the underlying message that, you know, there are black people who can be kings and queens, and... Um, put on that high level that uh, really resonated with me when I was younger. So, yeah, coming to America. The film that had a massive impact on me was The Count of Monte Cristo, 1975 version starring Richard Chamberlain. Now, this film taught me, I think I was about eight when I saw it, it taught me the importance of a good revenge plot. Don't run up and punch somebody and punch them in the face. Take your time, think about your revenge, plan it before you execute it. Make them feel it for generations to come. Love that film. Count of Monte Cristo. The film that left the greatest impression on me was The Pursuit of Happiness. It was actually one of the first true films I've ever watched and it started a obsession with watching true films. And the reason why it left such a strong impression was you can basically achieve anything you want in life if you put your mind to it. And that's why it remains one of the most amazing films to this day. And my favorite film. The film that had the biggest influence on me has to be my favourite film, and I believe his best film, and that is True Romance by Tarantino. Absolute cult classic. Basically a rom-com for people that are too cool for rom-coms, or just complete psychopaths that, that have a sensitive side. Um, for me, the more warning content a film has, the more I'm going to like it. So True Romance has it all. You know, scenes of a sexual nature, bad language, flashing lights, Adult content, extreme violence, brilliant, best film ever. It's got to be a movie back in 1957. Good old black and white days, starring Henry Fonda and Lee J. Cobb. It's called 12 Angry Men. Um, I saw it when I was about 13 or 14 in school. I um, can't remember what class or why we watched it. However, the reason why this had an impression on me, it's a story of 12 men, jurors, and they basically have to find a guy guilty or not guilty, and it's got to be unanimous 12-0. And it basically um, goes around this one man explaining himself, explaining why there was reasonable doubt why he could not just um, vote this person who's guilty. And in the end, he basically turns everybody's um, opinion around. The reason why this had such an impact on me is because I liked how he stood his ground. Okay, he believed in something and he wouldn't give up. He stuck by his guns. And I remember that um, so vividly. And um, I hoped, although I don't always follow that, but um, from that day that I thought that I hoped to be that sort of a person, to stick with what I believe, argue my point if need be. Um, the movie, excellent. And um, that is going to have to be Quentin Tarantino's 1994 film Pulp Fiction, starring Samuel Jackson, John Travolta and Emma Thurman. Um, it's one of my absolute all-time favourite films and it just made me want to be part of that film and in that film. Um, it was just so casually played and effective. Um, I also loved the seven narratives behind it um, and I just love every single scene in it. Every single scene in that movie just captures me, um, which is why it's pretty much a well-loved movie. Um, my favourite scene in the whole movie is when there's the panic around Mia overdosing and she has to be brought back from the overdose. That is my favourite scene in the whole film. 
I there were a lot, but I chose science because uh, one of the greatest mo cinema moments for me was when the alien walked across the screen um, at the kids' birthday party. I've never had a cinema experience like that, so I really wasn't ready for it. And also, I think that film is about um, everything happening for a reason. But when you go to cinema and you speak to people who don't get it, they don't, they don't think that way. It's a big discussion about as well, but everything happens so that something else can happen later in your life. So I like that concept. So the film that's had the greatest impression on me, I'd have to say, is The Iron Giant. Um, yes, it's an animated film, but um, it's quite possibly one of the greatest animated films of the last 20 years. And this is coming from a massive Toy Story fan. Not necessarily a Disney fan, but 100% a Toy Story fan. Um, I mean, it's got the immortal line of you can choose whoever you want to be, which I think for kids is an amazing kind of thing to grow up to believing it doesn't matter who you are where you're from what your education is what your background is who your parents are it's it's your destiny you can you can choose who you want to be you can go forth and do literally anything you want to in the world you want to be an astronaut go for it you know you want to be a princess be a princess you want to be a construction worker do it you know ever since i was little i used to watch films with my nan um we used to watch saturday matinees there's two films that i couldn't choose between one was the wizard was and the second one was Citizen Kane. And um, I've decided from talking about Citizen Kane because, um, like I said, I used to watch ma um, Saturday mat matinees with my man and um, we didn't have Sky or anything like that. So for me, the highlight of my weekend was 2 p.m. on a Saturday, watching old movies, usually black and white. Citizen Kane stood up for me because basically the cinematography in it is amazing. It literally is every kind of genre of film in the one movie so you get that kind of eerie kind of horror vibe the thriller vibe the political vibe the romance the comedy everything the film was made in 1941 and i watched it when i was about five years old and i was just mesmerized by all the different scenes all the, all the shots and i was like wow 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 and then um kind of forgot about it and then when i studied film studies when i was 17 they made us watch it and study it and I literally it was like it was like oh I don't know I, I really got to understand it more understand this um, understand all the metaphors on the montages and all of that loved it I think it's gonna have to be Greece it was a film that I remember growing up to growing up with and doing musicals and actually acting out scenes as you can imagine me singing along to the film while it was on and actually annoying everyone because i knew it word from word it's a film that is a classic and i think it always will be um if you think musical i think it's the one that sort of set the um scene for many musicals after that so that would have to be my greatest film um although I've got so many great films, but that one has left a lasting impression on me. The film that left the greatest impression on me is probably Moulin Rouge. It is literally one of my favorite films ever, and it's about love and a guy that's a writer. It's got Nicole Kidman in it, and it just makes me want to sing all the time because I'm a hopeless romantic.